Hello, hello, hello and welcome, welcome to my little capsule. This video is a small part of my tutorial series called Interactive Architecture, where I'll be showing you how you can make all sorts of different things with Unreal Engine. Today we'll learn how you can use your microphones to control different objects in our scene. So notice my face, for instance, mwah, mwah, yeah, <laughs> let's jump right into it. Alright, so audio capture. Well, it's actually pretty easy to capture audio in Unreal Engine. All you need to do is just create a blueprint, just a blueprint class, choose an actor, here just write down or type in, uh, let's say, audio meter blueprint, BP. There we go. This one is gonna measure the audio levels. We double click. And here inside of it, we will add a component that is going to be called audio capture. Audio capture. There we go. So once this component is added, we will go to the event, event graph. Sorry. Uh, we'll go to the event graph and we will need to place it. So the way you place it or you place an action from it is you right click on the audio capture uh, node or wh whatever it's called, this, the name of it, advent, add on audio envelope value. There we go. You get this. I don't need any of these, so I'll delete them. And this is the only one that we will need. So from this, I will actually just drag out for now a print string, <clears throat> print string, and I'll connect the envelope value to print string input. This will plot out the values that my microphone is picking up um, on my screen. So I'll just hit compile, hit save. I'll go back to my level and I need to not forget to add the audio meter blueprint into my level like that. You just drag and drop it in. And there are a few things that I need to change. And if I remember correctly, they need to be changed. Yes, they need to be changed actually here in the blueprint itself. Under audio capture, make sure that, um, where is it? Where is it? There we go. Activation right here. Oh, let me move myself a bit. Activation auto activate that is turned on that's important right uh, you just want it to turn on when you play the game so that it actually captures your audio there we go so now this is awkward because i can hear myself over the the headphones so i'll remove the headphones hopefully you don't hear hear me twice but on the left hand side you can see the numbers and now I'm going to be loud, but if I do ba, you can see the number increases ba up to three, uh, 0 0.3, right? So that means it's picking up, right? At least some portion of my audio. That's great. We need to now work with the numbers and get them a little bit closer in the range of from zero to one. So the way I do this is I apply a logarithmic scale so that it, low values ramp up and high values get pushed down uh, by quite a bit. So I'll just drag off from envelope value and type in log. Log, there we go. And my base for the log is going to be actually 10. And with that log done, I can show you the values now. Compile, play. You can see it's in the minus range now. And as I am talking, it's getting closer to zero. And if I'm completely silent, around minus 2.5, right? That's the noise floor, right? So now it's kind of flipped upside down. That's fine. That's fine with us. So what I'm gonna do is now with the logarithmic scale applied, I will drag off from here and I'll map my range from minus 2.5 until minus 5 to a new range in between 0 and 1. So it's going to be re remapped to a new range of numbers. Map, 
range clamped, not unclamped, clamped. There we go. So I said minus 2.5 if I remember correctly. This is gonna be minus 0.5. This is gonna be zero and that's gonna be one. Now we look at the values again. These ones this time. Compile, save, play. Bop. Ah. Uh, see, I can almost reach one. Boom. There we go. That's a one. I'm sorry, headphone users. But this is one of those tutorials. So now as an example, let me show you one thing. So I will delete this print string right here. And I'll actually go into my, <clears throat> my level and just create a quick little blueprint here. So right click in my blueprints tab, right click uh, blueprint class. That's gonna be an actor. And I'm just gonna call it uh, test sphere. The name may contain, okay, uh, I, I can't have a space bar. That's fine, test sphere. There we go. Double click that and click on add here and just add a sphere. Easy as that. And its name is indeed sphere. Then in the event graph, I will create a variable here for it. And I'll call it um, is not is screaming, but how loud, <laughs> how loud, right? And I will just, instead of a boolean, I'll use a float, like so, because that's going to be my, like my loudness value, right? And for now, I won't do anything with it. I'll just compile, save, and I have my test sphere here, ready to go, right? So back in my audio meter blueprint, here, I will cast to that test sphere. Extract there cast to test sphere like that right oh mm, 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 asks me for an object uh perhaps if we try get pawn uh, owner mm. one second Try. Is there anything? Uh, no. Okay. Let's just get player character or controller. Controller. And see if this complains or not. It does indeed complain. One second. So I need to find the correct uh, object for this. Okay. This is not going to be a clean one, but it's going to work anyway. So. Since we don't really know which object to use, we can always, but we know for a fact that we need to use the test sphere, right? What we can do is we can just get it in into our scene, first of all. Just make it float. There we go. And then back in here in audio meter blueprint, then I will create, right click, uh, get all or get actor of class, right? Get actor of class, uh, the aud audio envelope goes into the input of it and it and it transfers the trigger further to cast to test sphere. Actor of class now is gonna be our test sphere, like that. There we go. And now return value, we just connect it like so. And now if I compile, you can see the casting succeeds, right? So which means that now as test sphere, I can access the variable that I have created in this blueprint. This is how you make blueprints talk to each other, by the way. Well, also you can use the interface, but in this case, we're just casting. So as test sphere, we will uh, get how loud because that's the name of our variable that we have made here nope we're not getting it sorry we are setting it set how loud like that 
connect it like so so that it triggers and our value is of course our loudness the clamped loudness right here there we go so that is already good to go save then in test sphere right here under event tick i want to check if how loud let me just drag it in here get it how loud if that actually transfers so here i'm going to print string and connect how loud to the string input compile save press play there we go zeros and if i talk it gives me a number perfect now we need to use this to actually scale the sphere right so i'll take the sphere move it in here you just drag and drop it in like that set transform set world uh set relative wait set relative scale there we go set relative scale 3d like that that happens under the tick right so i'm deleting the print string and i'm just straight up connecting it like so and now for the scale i need to make a scale because now there's x y and z i only have a single number here so i'll just make scale fine make scale wait i can't make scale can i just connect it like so perhaps it's gonna work let's try play uh see that works great so now we have a, su a successfully and we've created a sphere that reacts to us talking so which means that now we're able to parse uh, information from one uh, blueprint to the other meaning that we can parse it to our door for example right so i'm going to delete the test sphere i don't need it anymore force delete there we go it's dead now in my audio meter blueprint this is going to be freaking out because now there is no yeah, it says bad cast node because there's no sphere, test sphere left. So I'm just going to delete all of it. And instead, I'm going to cast to my, let's say, the door. Or maybe the window. What do we want to open today? Door, window, or desk? Let's go for a window, right? So I'm going to go here. Audio meter blueprint. And get an uh, actor of class the class is gonna be window window blueprint there we go and then we will cast to it cast to window blueprint bam like that and then fr from it i will need to get a variable so i do need to create a variable in my window blueprint so under building elements under window window blueprint here i'm just gonna click a plus sign on the variables and just say how loud in float values please so when this is um high in value that means a uh, trigger will happen and it needs to happen once okay that that should be fine so uh how loud that's done compile save um drop it in here drop it in here now under audio meter blueprint from here i i will be able to just extract um uh, set how loud right easy as that connect connect and now that information will transfer oops to to here so now this this value get how loud this will be influenced by my microphone technically i could build up my audio 
capture blueprint inside of my window blueprint, but that's not never a good idea because it gets super messy, right? So now with this done, I should be able to add the how loud to another branch. Yeah, let's create another branch like so. And let's say I will ask if the loudness is larger than 0 0.8. Like this. So what I'm doing here is basically saying that if I don't scream when I press the E button to interact with my object, that's the interact button. If I don't scream into my microphone, the window will not open. So let me compile, let me save, let me play, and let's test it out. So now this works, yeah. That doesn't open. But if I do, ah! Now I can't close it. But if I do, ah! Okay, so now we have, um, ah! Oh. Ah! There we go. Perfect. And that is how you can control stuff with your voice. Tutorial over. Th this was a weird one. Um, my neighbors probably think I'm dying. I'll see you in the next one. Later.